This is just a quick video. I'm going to start doing a little bit more quicker ones to show some just smaller pieces of the puzzle and maybe even just try to explain it at a more business level. So this one, I just want to show how to use Postman, especially when you're testing file uploads. File uploads can be tricky. So in this case, I have a webhook and I want this webhook to trigger something. In this case, it's an image processor and then of course come out with something. But this can be hard because even if I do this where I say, listen, and even if I then send that and let it do, let it do its thing, it will not always help me because here we have the file and it's here, but I can't pin it because I'm using typically, I, I don't know exactly why, but I think when I'm doing binary stuff with N8N, I can't always pin it. So then I get in a situation where sure I can do that and go like that. Now, if I go over here and pin it, after the fact, we'll see something goes wrong, but I want to get to this one. And so now that one's done. And then of course this one, which is really no big deal, but I can't rerun this. I can't just keep trying this. So it can get frustrating. And even if I was to pin this, I wouldn't be able to, and now the pin is gone. So let's try that again, just to show what would happen then. So I'll send it again. And now we have data, but we can't pin it. But if I pin it here and then run test, it doesn't work. And it's just tricky. Maybe I'm doing something wrong, but you just don't get the binary file here. If I was to click test again and I was to open up the UI, let's go back to here. We now see there's a binary file. So you see it went away. So a moment ago it was not there and now it's there. I'm sure there's other ways to do this, but it's just a way how when I'm dealing with something that is a webhook that needs a file and I'm not sending it through Superbase, this is how I can typically move a little quicker. So in this case, I could run this and obviously I would hit the production URL and everything's enabled. So it's going to work. And then I just basically remove that. And then I could just hit it like that with Postman and watch it work or not work. I could check out the past executions and see where it fails or doesn't fail. And, and even there it gets tricky because you'll run it, but if you debug it in the editor, you're still stuck because even though I want to click this guy and just test at this level, it worked there, but sometimes it'll start over. So it can be frustrating and tricky. But anyway, so with Postman, all I had to do to make that work was choose post and form data. And then once I got some fields here, I just chose the word file. You don't have to, you could do anything you want. And then I put the file there and I just grabbed the file. Now, one thing with file in data, whatever you want to call it, like I could call it foo, right? When I send that, it has an error because when it came in, it now says it's foo. See, foo. And so I would have to go back to my guy here and I'll say, hey, the binary input coming in is foo, and then it will work. Now it won't work here because we just talked about that. It's just not binary. But now if I click save and send it, it will work because it's waiting for that particular key. So that's it. So yeah, Postman, great tool, hit your APIs and webhooks, especially with files uh, and just other things I've seen, I've shown it before where I test full APIs by just hitting the different routes and just watch it work. And they actually have a test feature here. So you can actually do some cool stuff where you can test. So I'd have to find that one, but you get the point there. Nice little, not even little, it's huge, but nice tool to help you with, with working with N8N. All right. Just wanted to share that one real quickly. Thank you.